Hello and welcome to the May monthly podcast with me, Jay, the Gaelic Moonchild. In this episode, we are going to be talking about Beltane, the Eta Aquarids meteor shower, the Taurus new moon, Mercury reaching its greatest eastern elongation, the move into the Gemini zodiac sign, the full flower supermoon, and Saturn and Mercury going retrograde. So grab yourself a nice drink, get comfy, here we go. So first up this month we have Beltane, which is also known as May Day. This is celebrated from sunset on April the 30th until sunset on May the 1st. Beltane marks the coming of summer and celebrates life, fire, children and family. The word Beltane originates from the Celtic god Bel, meaning the bright one, and the Gaelic word Tain, which means fire. Traditionally, all fires would be extinguished and new Beltane fires would be lit to honour the sun. During celebrations, people would jump these fires to cleanse and purify themselves. Couples would jump together to pledge themselves to each other and farmers would drive their livestock through the smoke to protect them from disease. It is also believed that doing these things would bring fertility. Another really popular tradition is the maypole, which is usually made from birch and then dressed at the top with a ring of flowers and beautiful coloured ribbons. The pole represents the god, the flowers the fertile goddess, and the ribbons represent the spiral of life and unity accompanied by the weaving dance. The colours that correspond with Beltane are Green to symbolise abundance, growth and fertility. Red to symbolise vitality, strength, vibrancy and passion. And white to symbolise clearing and cleansing and to release any negativity. Remember, this is the Festival of Flora, so be sure to include lots of flowers in your celebrations. One of the simplest things you can do is make a daisy chain and wear it on your head as a flower crown. If you're feeling a little more adventurous, head out into nature and gather some hawthorn flowers and make yourself some lovely hawthorn brandy. Traditionally, Beltane would begin when the hawthorns blossomed. If you have little people in your life, head on over to our YouTube channel. All you have to do is type in the Gaelic Moonchild and check out our Rupert's Tales, Rupert's first Beltane story. It's a really, really lovely way to explain the celebrations to the little people in your life. Now I'd like to share an Irish blessing with you all that is absolutely perfect for Beltane. It's May flowers always line your path and sunshine light your days. May songbirds serenade you every step along the way. May a rainbow run beside you in a sky that's always blue. And may happiness fill your heart each day, your whole life through. However you are choosing to celebrate, I wish you all a very joyous Beltane. Next up, we have the Etta Aquarids Meteor Shower. This particular shower is produced by dust particles left behind by Halley's Comet. Now this is an annual meteor shower that actually started on the 19th of April and this one will run until May the 28th but this year it's going to peak on the 6th of May. The meteors will radiate from the Aquarius constellation 
but can pop up anywhere in the sky. If you want to catch a glimpse of this shower, your best bet is to head out to a dark location after midnight. Uh, with this shower producing up to 30 meteors per hour, you're bound to catch a few good ones, so keep those eyes peeled. On Tuesday the 11th of May we have a Taurus new moon. It will reach 0% at around 7.59 UK time. It is set to rise in the morning at 5.24 and is expected to set at 8.21pm. New moon is a time of new beginnings and this new moon falls on a Tuesday which is ruled by Mars. Now this would be a perfect time to undertake magical workings in physical energy, strength, drive, ambition and achievement. Now I'd like to share with you a new moon affirmation from Yasmin Boland's Moonology Diary for 2021. It is an abundance portal is opening up to me and I'm walking through it. Wow, absolutely love that one. Really lovely. Now I'd like to share a new moon invocation from the Moon Tarot. It is, I invoke the spirit within me to release old beliefs that hinder me. I am replacing outdated habits with new habits that assist my growth. I am tending to the home I have created in the warmth of my own heart. I am safe and secure. I provide this wealth in abundance. Moving on now, on Monday the 17th of May, Mercury will be at its greatest eastern elongation, meaning this will be the best time to view the planet as it will reach 22 degrees from the sun. Uh, if you want to catch a glimpse of Mercury, head outdoors just after sunset and look low in the western sky. If you need some help finding the planet, you can always download the awesome Sky View app onto your smart device. On Friday the 21st of May, we will move into the Gemini zodiac sign until June the 21st. Gemini is an air element which is symbolized by the twins and ruled by Mercury. In Greek mythology, Gemini is associated with Castor and Pollux, who were considered to be the twin sons of Zeus. Pollux was considered to be immortal and Castor mortal. It is thought that Pollux had begged his father to grant immortality to Castor after his death. Zeus granted his request and both were united together in the skies. Next up we have Saturn Retrograde which will begin on May the 23rd and will last for 140 days ending on the 11th of October. Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn and traditionally Aquarius. In Roman mythology, Saturn was the first god of the capital known as Saturnius Mons and was considered the god of agriculture, generation, dissolution, plenty, wealth, periodic renewal and liberation. His reign is thought to have been one of peace and plenty. Next up we have a full flower supermoon on Wednesday the 26th of May. It's expected to reach 100% under Sagittarius at 12.13pm. It's due to rise on the 25th at 7.54pm. It will be under Scorpio at that time um, and it's going to move into the Sagittarius zodiac sign at 2.40am. It's due to set on the 26th at 4.58 a.m. The full moon is a perfect time for wish fulfillment, harvesting the rewards from intentions that you set during the new moon and also it's a really really good time to let go of all that doesn't serve you. 
With this being a Wednesday full moon, this is an opportune moment to undertake spells and rituals surrounding acceptance, knowledge, adaptability, communication, change, the arts, confidence and charm. And because it's a super full moon, the um, energies will be amplified. Wednesday is ruled by Mercury and he is the god of trade, profit, merchants and travellers. He symbolises playfulness, flexibility, communication, creativity and wisdom. You can include crystals like aventurine, fluorite, sodalite, moss agate and opal and the colour orange as these all correspond beautifully with Mercury and Wednesday. Now I'd like to share a full moon invocation from the moon tarot. It is, I invoke the spirit within me to welcome new perspective. I honor the knowledge within me and keep it in my heart. I am expanding my heart space to break barriers. I am creatively channeling energy. I am love in abundance and so it is. As I said before, the full moon is a perfect time to release all that no longer serves you. And I'd like to share with you a full moon release prayer that I have written specifically for the flower full moon. Beautiful flower moon in the dark night sky, shining your divine light as the world passes by. I ask you to fill my being with your glorious light to cleanse and protect me throughout this May night. I let go of all that no longer serves me. I call upon you to guide and guard me. I thank you for all the blessings you bring and for filling my heart and making it sing. And finally, on Saturday the 29th of May, Mercury will go retrograde. Uh, Mercury is the prince of the celestial cabinet. It is considered to be one of the crucial events of the planetary sphere. Mercury retrograde happens around three times per year, lasting approximately three weeks each time. This time, Mercury will go direct on Tuesday the 22nd of June, meaning we will have 25 days of retrograde. Now, everybody always freaks out a little bit during Mercury retrograde, but the way I see it is, it is what you make of it. Uh, some of the most common don'ts of Mercury retrograde are things like don't sign contracts, don't start new projects, uh, don't purchase electronics, don't renew your passport, and even don't get married. There are still lots of things that you can do, things that start with re, like repair, research, rewrite, revise, recount, remember, and reunite, to name just a few. Okay, this brings us to the end of our May monthly podcast. Thank you so much for listening in. Please share the podcast to anyone who you think would be interested and pop over and check out our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Links will be in the description. Thank you so much. Brightest of blessings from my heart to yours. <laughs>